Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really, really appreciate it. I know it's been a long time coming and it has been a while since I posted a video. I'm so sorry about that. I was ill. I was not feeling too good, um, you know, and I've just been super busy. So I never got a chance to post a video. But you clicked on this video because y'all want to know more about what you could do if you keep going back to those toxic motherfuckers and you want to stop but you keep going back so i'm gonna share with y'all tips on what you can do to work on not going back to those toxic people those toxic narcissists and if you're new to my page i'll t i'll introduce myself I'm Tracy Govan. I used to be in an 18 years narcissistic abusive relationship and it's been a year and a half that my ex narcissist, the father of my daughter, has, you know, moved on and has his new supply and it's been about I'd say 6 months now that we just haven't contacted each other like flirting being friends, whatever. It took me a little while, even though he had a new supply, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, it took me a little while for me to even let go of just not being friends and flirting and talking. Even though he had a new supply, I was just so hooked on him and I didn't know how to stop. And no matter what, I found myself keep going back to talking to this person, thinking that we can be friends, thinking that we can co-parent. And every time that, that that person that didn't get his own way, he would gaslight me. He would call me a bunch of names. He would he would uh, abuse me with money, right? To like if we got into a disagreement, be like, "Oh, I'm not giving you no money for your you, you know, our, our daughter this month or what?" Like he just did so much tactics and I kept seeing myself go in a loophole. Even though, like, not a loophole, like, it just keep going into a dark hole and keep the, keep up with this pattern of hurting myself, feeling like this high, oh, this person's showing me attention even though he has his new supply, no, he still loves me, he still cares about me, and then when he doesn't get his own way and I don't want to sleep with him, I'm back to feeling like shit. I did this for a couple months even though he left me for a new supply. And this is why I can say to y'all, narcissists, they really don't leave you alone. They don't move on for their supplies. I, I, I was just having this conversation with one of my clients that I had a meeting with um, that I'm helping through um, them trying to leave a narcissistic relationship that I shared with them that my father right? This is why you all need to take a look at your surroundings if you have family members that are narcissists and that's why you found yourself in a pattern of being with a toxic person or a narcissist. My father was a narcissist to my mom, abused her. Like the exact situation that I was in, my father was doing it to my mom, you know, and 23 years later, my mom, my mom left my dad. My dad went to girlfriend to girlfriend to girlfriend. <clears throat> and 23 years later, he still wants to try to reconnect with my mom. You see what I'm trying to say? And he never left my mom alone. Like, even, even when he had his girlfriends, he would still try to contact my mom and talk as friends and bring up if we were still together, this, this, that. I'm trying to tell y'all, narcissists never leave their supplies. Like, they, they'll they always try to see what they can grab from you, whether it be attention, whether it be you feeding their ego. It doesn't even have to mean sexually. It doesn't even have to. It's just they want their ego to be stroked. That's enough supply for them. Supply, like, supply can be anything and they're okay with it right as long as their ego is getting stroked as long as they have still have access to you they're gonna do whatever they want this is why i'm saying to y'all zero contact if you don't have a child with this narcissist zero contact is so important block and motherfucking delete i know it's hard i know it's challenging but you need to do that for your own sanity because if you don't do it you're gonna find yourself keep going backwards and what's the definition of temporary insanity is doing the same shit and then crying out wolf expecting a different result you ain't gonna get a different result mm -mm. If you keep doing the same shit over and over again, you need to change something. You need to get yourself out of that pattern, right? So, y'all, yeah. 
the way y'all can really cut ties from this narcissist and not keep finding yourself going backward. First of all, let me say to y'all, if you have a kid with them, right? I know this is challenge, challenging because my situation is I have a kid with this narcissist, right? Is I'm going to share with you guys what you can do, tips and tools on what you can do if you have a kid with the narcissist or if you don't have a kid with the narcissist. Step number one, if you have, if you don't have a kid with the narcissist, the first thing you need to do, block them on social media, block their number, um, block anybody that you're friends with, with them, that that you knew from that narcissist like at the end of the day you don't want to hear that person coming back and chit-chatting telling you everything about what the narcissist do is saying to them or doing especially if that narcissist uses triangulation on you right with the friends family members or whatever if your family members are listening to the narcissist and coming back to you and telling you a bunch of shit in your ears you need to Stand your grounds. That's the next thing I'm going to tell you. Stand your grounds and have boundaries. Boundaries is what's going to... And boundaries comes with blocking them. Right? That's setting healthy boundaries. Like, nah, I love myself enough mentally and emotionally not to allow myself to keep getting beat up from this toxic person. So I, I'm going to set boundaries by blocking this person. Because I know if I block them, that's the only way that I can control not talking back, not hearing about them. The same thing with friends. I'm going to stop talking to those friends who know that narcissist. I'm going to take a step back because I don't want them coming in. It doesn't mean that you have to block them or stop talking to them. That's up to you. Depends on how close you are with them. If I'm not that close with them, I'm going to block them, right? Like if I'm close with that, if I'm close with them and they're close with the narcissist, then I'm just going to distance myself, right? Because I don't want to, or I'm going to be straight up and tell them, I don't want to know shit. Don't tell me nothing about that narcissist. Keep it to yourself. Same thing with family members, right? If you decide you still want to, that's on you. But I don't want to know jack shit. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. I don't want to know nothing. The less you know about that narcissist, the less that you keep talking about them is the more you're going to be able to heal and move forward but if you keep talking about the toxic situation like I had I was telling you know this client is if you keep talking about the situation if you keep talking about the narcissist if you keep talking about the pain and the trauma and all that stuff that they put you through I'm not saying it's not okay to get the feelings and emotions out it's okay to but if you keep dwelling on the same shit and then keep saying you want to heal you want to change again what's the definition of temporary insanity doing the same shit and expecting different results so you're literally driving yourself to temporary insanity because you are expecting to heal you are expecting to move on but you keep doing the same shit every day with that narcissist you keep doing the same shit every day with yourself so, the only way, if you don't have a kid with them, the only way that you can start to move on and start healing is blocking and deleting, getting as far as away that, from that narcissist and that toxic person as far as possible, whether that be on social media, your number, uh, friends, family members, whatever, right? Distance yourself. Then, journal and write down what was the pa toxic patterns that you were allowing? Now, this goes for both. If you have a kid with them or if you don't have a kid with them. This is general. Write down in journal, what are your toxic patterns? Because you toxic too because you allowed that shit. So we got, that's one thing. We got to look ourselves in the mirror and say, we allowed this shit. So we have some sort of toxic shit going on, on inside of us too. So it's claiming your you know, your place in that relationship as well, that I, I was not all just glitter and gold. You had your toxic shit too. So claiming your toxic shit, noticing what was your toxic patterns, noticing what was the other person's toxic patterns, noticing what you allowed and you didn't, you didn't like, right? Noticing what traumatic experiences that you experienced through that, that you need to heal from self. Example, if you allowed that motherfucker Sorry for swearing. If you allow that person to disrespect you, right? There's something within inside of yourself that that person was trying to teach you. That you need to start to have a little bit more respect for yourself. Whether respect for your time. Whether respect of your energy. Respect of your body. 
on how that person treats your body or how you treat your body. See, every experience that you experience with a narcissist was trying to teach you valuable lessons of self. It's just that simple. So it's like taking a step back and take, and what that does when you can own up to that shit, you take the attention off of that other person and you start going inward. You start taking all that attention that you were putting on that other person onto yourself to grow mentally and emotionally and become a better person to yourself. So now you're not running yourself down to temporary insanity no more. You are actually growing. You are actually healing. You are actually doing the right steps and the right things to do exactly what you want is heal and move on from that person, right? And this is a process. This is not something that happens overnight. It's understanding. The biggest thing that I see that people do and I used to do to myself is beat myself up. When am I going to feel better? When am I when am I going to stop hurting? When am I going to stop thinking about this person? When 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 this and when that? No. If you keep focusing on the past and if you keep focusing on needing to know answers that you're not going to get, that's going to drive you again crazy. So you need to focus on the here and now. Be present with self. I read books. I read so many things. The only thing that you have on this earth is this very moment. If you're watching this video right now, right? That's the only shit that you have is this present moment. That's all you have. Past already happened. You can't change that. The future is created by what you decide to do today. Your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, the words you speak, everything is creating your future. So understanding that to stay in the moment was what's going to help you to heal and be able to not revert back to old patterns and old ways because you're no longer constantly thinking about the shit that happened to you. You're no longer constantly thinking about that toxic person. You're thinking about what you have now. What you have now is your health. What you have now is you. That person left your life or that person is treating you like shit. They don't deserve to be in your life. Is realizing what you have now, Right? So if you have a kid with a narcissist, right, the best thing that you can do is go as little as contact as possible and do exactly the same things I'm talking about right now is stop thinking, like stop focusing on them, focusing on yourself. The same things that I'm listing is the same thing you need to do when you have a kid. The only difference is, is that you cannot just block and delete them. So if you can't block and delete them, the least you can do is set healthy boundaries to go as little as no contact as possible. You could do emails. You don't have to see that person's number on your phone. You don't have to see them texting you whenever they feel like it. No, you have emails. But set, revert them to just email you. If you have family members that you could just drop the child off, so then that way you don't have to see them. I haven't seen my narcissist for a year and a half now, face to face, because I dropped my daughter off at his mom's house and then she he he picks her up, you know, she's 13, he picks her up like at the side of my building or picks her up at his mom's. I decide see you, when you set those solid foundations, those solid boundaries, like nah, they can't overstep it. The only the only way they can overstep it is if you allow it. Because you hold the power. Remember that. I think a lot of people that get abused lose touch of them understanding that you hold the power. You are in con- you are in control of your whole situation. When they decide to leave and they're no longer in like your life anymore, they they don't have control over you. And, and nobody on this earth should have more control over you than your own damn self in the first place. Whether you're in still in a relationship with that narcissist or you're not in a relationship with that narcissist, right? It's regain regaining your power is by setting healthy boundaries and not letting motherfuckers walk all over you and walk all over your boundaries. And setting healthy boundaries is just knowing your value and valuing your time, valuing your energy, valuing your body, who has access to you and who shouldn't have access to you. And there's no there's no right or wrong because at the end of the day, everybody is born with free will right? You have free will to say how you decide that you want to live your life. So nobody can wrong you, shame you, judge you for the way you decide to live your life. Only you have to deal with the consequences and how you're deciding to live with your life, right? So when you can set those healthy boundaries, then it changes everything, right? And these tips that I'm sharing with you is what's going to help you 
right? To not revert back to those toxic people that treating that are treating you like shit. And when you do decide, you decide to walk up and leave. Let's say you're still with that narcissist. You do decide to walk up and leave. It's like you're going to be able to look, revert back to these things that I'm talking to you about to work on you. Put all the focus on you right what makes us go backwards is because we're constantly thinking about these people we're constantly thinking about what was we're constantly thinking about the comfort of what we had you see when you can educate yourself and I, and I'm sharing this with you guys and I think this is something you guys should look into the ego right what is the ego the ego is is different than your higher self your higher self when you is your spirituality is your inner voice your god within you and your god within you is always going to tell you you deserve better you deserve this you deserve that but then the ego is going to create you know stories on why you should be with that person oh but they there wasn't always bad times there was good and their ego is going to cling on because your ego doesn't want you to feel pain doesn't want you to feel hurt so it's going to go back to revert back to old memories that made you feel good right so it's like the ego tries to protect you but doesn't do you any good because it's it's clinged on to stories. You see, the ego doesn't like the unknown, right? But the higher self, your inner voice knows that you deserve better, that you are love. You, you, you know, there is somebody out there that will love you and treat you good and you are a good person. And that's all your, your inner voice, your higher self telling you all these things because a lot of times we hear these voices, we know these things, but we don't follow them. Because our ego, again, says, yeah, but this person wasn't all that bad. This person did this for me. This person did that for me. Da, 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 da. And your ego just wants you to feel good. So at the end of the day, your ego is always going to make you revert back to these old stories, these old patterns, because it doesn't like the unknown. Being in the unknown, yes, it may feel a little bit scary, but that's where all the magic happens. That's where beautiful, you, you're releasing what no longer serves you and you're making new and making new and making room for better to enter your life how can you how can you receive better into your life if you're not opening yourself up to allow it to come in because you're so focused on this negative shit that's consuming you so again I'm going to repeat it again over and over again what's the definition of temporary insanity is doing the same shit expecting different results so you got to ask yourself, are you the one that's driving yourself mad? Are you the one that's putting yourself down? And 99.9 out of the times, it's us. Because at the end of the day, we can blame other people out there for the shit that they do to us. But again, everybody's entitled to free will. Anybody can walk out of your life with no cause or what do whatever they feel like it because God gave everybody free will. And we can't wrong people the way they do want to do things or live life or treat others or do whatever because at the end of the day, they're entitled to do whatever they want. We came in this world by ourselves. We're going out of this world by ourselves. Nobody owes us shit. And we got to come to that realization. So all these tips that I'm sharing to you, it's not just motivation. It's to help enlighten you and open up your eyes to see these things that I'm talking to you. And when you listen to my voice and when you listen to this video, take these things in to now implement them because knowledge is power but knowledge means shit if you don't implement what you learn so what i'm sharing with you well if you implement it will help you not re to revert back to go backwards into a toxic situation and all what i'm sharing to you is helping me also not to revert back you know sometimes how badly i want to text my ex I want to text them. I don't be like, hey, just because I want my ego to be stroke. I want, I want to feel that attention again from him. I want to know that he still cares. But standing in the facts is what's going to help you to not revert back to old ways. What are the facts? The facts is that this person gaslights you. The facts is that person is, is a master manipulator. The facts is that this person lies. This person cheats. This person, um, you know, hurts me mentally and emotionally, right? That's the facts. And when you feel these emotions that you want to revert back to old ways, you miss them, you feel sad, you want to talk to them, those are all emotions. Remember this, emotions come and go. But the facts are always going to be the mother facts. They're always going to be the facts. Facts are not going to change because that's who they are, 
right? That's what they did to you. It happened, right? But emotions are going to come and go. One minute you're going to feel angry. One minute you're going to feel sad. And when you can understand those emotions and sit with them and let them be and let them come to visit and let them go, you'll now take control to not allow your emotions to control you. And what that's going to do is going to help allow you not to revert back to old ways, not to revert back to that toxic that person who treated you like shit. So stand in the facts, y'all. Understand these things that I, I shared with you and broke down with you. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave a comment. Ask me. I'll make a specific video just for you talking about, you know, what it is that you're questioning me about. If you are interested in, you want help, message me message me and we can book a free half an hour one-on-one -on -one session i can answer all your questions i can give you tips and more tips and tools you know strictly to to help you or we can book an appointment for 45 minutes and then after that i can help you based on your needs and how you can heal and grow and wise up and rise up from these narcissists this is why my page is called the wise up rise up like podcasts i have my podcast you'll check that out i drop podcasts every thursdays my my youtube my tiktok is growing massively go check out my tiktok it's called the wise up rise up narc because the only way that you can get better the only way they can heal the only way they can get over these narcissists the only way you can get out of that narcissistic relationship is becoming mentally stronger right by becoming wiser about your situation, becoming wiser about that person, and from that knowledge, implementing it to rise up inside of your life. So I wanna help you do that. If you guys want my help, again, join the Wise Up Rise Up community. I also have a Facebook group. You guys can join that as well. I put different posts on there. I'm just trying to help you guys to grow as much as possible from that pain, from that trauma, from that narcissist, and become the best damn version of yourself. So I hope that this video has inspired you, uplifted you in some sort of way. I say in all my videos, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. If you found value in this video, make sure you're leaving me a thumbs up, you know, because that helps with the algorithm to get this video out to more people and to help inspire more people. So thanks so much. Oh, oh yeah. Also, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribing to my channel for more good content and more good videos. Thanks so much for tuning on, you guys. I really, really appreciate the love, the support, um, and stay tuned for more great videos. Take care.